And what we're going to talk about here, uh, last segment, we talked about earnest money deposit. So what we're going to discuss right now is what happens after your offer gets accepted. So when your offer gets accepted to when you're getting your keys, mm -hmm. there's certain key things that happen, right? Yeah. And as we mentioned earlier that the buyer is taking all the risk in terms of purchasing a home, that they're going to be obligated to make payments for 30 years, right? Every single month for 30 years. So we want to make sure we have a fiduciary duty sure. to make sure that we protect our buyers and that they understand and, and know everything about the house that they can possibly try to find out, as well as do their due diligence and investigate the property and uh, make sure that we do it in a timely manner. Right. So it is essential, would you agree that it's essential that you work with a good agent and a Absolutely. loan officer that communicate in a timely process yes. on a regular basis, yeah. that everybody's on the same page working towards the same goal sure. so that we can protect our clients through that process. Yes, yeah. and we wanna be upfront and have those time frames dialed in, right? right? And a lot of times sellers will ask you to remove, say, the appraisal contingency within 10 days, mm -hmm. sometimes shorter, right? You know, we have to be on top of the time frames know exactly what we have to get done, the loan disclosures need to go out, the appraisal needs to get ordered, and so on and so forth. Um, if your lender doesn't have control of that, sometimes that can get out of hand. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. great great points with that. So a contingency, let's start with that. A contingency, the best I heard it described by uh, an attorney is he, he called it a good faith excuse out of the contract. Good faith meaning not just, oh, I just want to back out of the contract. You have a certain amount of contingencies that are in play that are ways that you can get out of that contract. And as Severio had mentioned in our previous video, uh, be able to get that full earnest money deposit back, right? Because right? you have three days after your offer is accepted to first get that money in. Sure. So they put that money in, could be 3%, 10 to $15,000. Then it goes into a neutral escrow account. And then our, um, in, in this role, I'm gonna be the buyer's agent. And that's right? key too, it doesn't go to the seller. Right, it doesn't go so directly to the seller. That's a misunderstanding. Right, yeah. so that yeah. money is going into escrow, and then that money can be used, and we didn't mention this earlier, mm -hmm. but it could be used as the out-of-pocket right. for your money for your down, payment, for your closing, closing costs, costs yeah. right. Yeah. So it actually goes towards helping you purchase the property, right? right? Yeah. So if you go forward and you close, that's some of your money that you need to get yeah, in. You may money. need to get some more money, right, sure. to come sure. in to finish. It's part of your down payment. Right, it could be that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it could be used towards those things. Sure. Now, if we get out of the contract, which is more of what we're concerned with and what we're speaking about today, say we come across something, we find out it's like, you know what, we really don't want this house, right? right? Because we discovered something that the seller either disclosed right. or we investigated, right. and maybe the seller's not willing to fix it, and they're saying, hey, take it as is. Or it doesn't appraise. Right, or it doesn't or the appraise. Appraisal doesn't their appraisal can come yep. in. Yep. So the contingency periods that are in place, you have three days, again, for earnest money deposit. Seller has seven days to get you the disclosures. Their disclosures, anything that they know about the property, a material fact, is something that could impact the price. If, if that seller were a buyer buying their own house, what would they want to know about that home, right? That's a material right. fact. They have a duty to disclose that. Right. So we want to get all that. We want to hire our home inspector. Mm -hmm. Other inspectors could be sewer lateral inspections, chimney inspections, mm -hmm. roof inspections. So we want to do that first basic home inspection up front, which is very general. They're kind of a jack of all trades, master of none, right? Sure. But sure. they give us red flags of what could what be an yeah. issue. Yeah. And then we know what to further investigate if we need to bring in that plumber, that electrician, that roof specialist, that chimney specialist, right? right? So after we further investigate, investigate and get all the facts we can get on that property, now we want to know, okay, can we ask the seller if they're willing to fix these items, right? right? right. Okay, so, um, so seven days for the seller to disclose, typically 17 days for that loan, or I'm sorry, the appraisal, appraisal contingency, uh -huh. as well as your other contingencies. Yeah. So all your other contingencies other than the loan, the loan is at 21 days. Yeah. So unless it's been modified, as Marcus Some mentioned, have, in a yeah. multiple situation, yeah. sometimes it's shortened, yeah. and we just wanna make sure with the loan officer that we can get that approval. Right. So before we remove all of our ways out of the contract, Right, the last all of our contingencies. Right. It's the last thing that we do. Yeah. What What would that agent, you know, do when they make a call to you? Uh -huh. What are they asking to right. make sure they feel comfortable that they can move forward on the transaction? The key with the whole thing is, are you willing to remove this contingency uh -huh. and putting that person's money at risk? Because that's what it is. If I say yes, we can remove the loan contingency, and something doesn't happen, right? Right. That good faith deposit can be gone. Right, right. There's, there's that you chance. You put it at risk. Right? Right. Put it at risk. Right. I'm never, ever, ever going to do that. Right. It's a conversation with you. It's a conversation with the buyer. Right. Here's where we are. Your loan's fully approved. We need nothing. Mm -hmm. It's all ready to go. 
are you are you okay with me removing that loan contingency? Right. Right? Because it's their money. I don't want to put it at risk. It's not gonna happen. Yeah. If I have something missing in the file, mm -hmm. we still haven't gotten us back, I'm gonna let you know. Yeah. I'm gonna let the buyer know I don't want to release this contingency because I don't want to put your money at risk, just in case that comes back and it's not the right answer. Right. 